Hi everyone. I'm in my room right now. As you can see, I'm behind the door. And right now, I'm in room, I'm actually in the sea tower of the ocean towers, tower three, I guess, in room 142 of the Hammock Beach Resort in Palm Coast, Florida. And today I'm gonna ride in the elevator right here in my room. As you can see, this is my room. I'm gonna show you. If you if you want to know how to program an elevator access code, here's how you do it. Just pause it if you want to read it, but it involves a key, knowing the previous code, and and a new code. Basically, it's a four-digit number. The first digit is, is the floor you want to keep key off. The last three are a number after choosing. Simple as that. It involves a key, switching it to a clear position and to a secure position. So without further ado, I'm sure I have my key. Good. Let's ride. This is a traction elevator. Take this box off. Put on the seat here. You can see it has a hall call cutout button, so it's locked from the inside, and two call buttons for up and down. Just make sure it's not moving. So, without further ado, firefighter cell phone, let's go down. Let me just push this up button so I can come back. Hold the door open. Otis, one, keys, let's go down to P1. It does actually talk to you. Access P1. Otis, as you can see, first floor, everything's locked. Close it. Let's go back P1. Uh, one. Going up. Says going up. Here's the certificate. Buttons. Restricted floor. Elevator eight. Up the shaft, which you can't see. You can hear it say going up, and it's closing. So that is it. You know, let's do one more ride. Go down to P1. It's a cabby this time. Hold it open. It's a nice size for a private elevator. Fireman's phone jack. 2,500 pounds. That's the secure access where you need your key. I, if I click the one button, it's restricted. Door closes pretty fast. So. so, let's watch it close. And key switch box, put it on, secure, that's it.